In today's video, we're taking a look at how to clean your Keurig coffee machine easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. This technique will work for any Keurig machine and other brands as well with similar designs. So you woke up today and started to make some coffee. You look at the machine from the outside and it looks like it escaped a horror film from Freddy Krueger and it's not supplying coffee as you told it to. And once you finally taste the coffee, you look in the inside to see if you left a sock on it. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. The first thing that you want to do is turn off the machine. Then, the most important thing of this whole video, you want to disconnect it. Because the last thing you want on a clear sunny day is to have the coffee machine clean for your funeral. At least, there will be good coffee. We go ahead and remove the reservoir cap. If yours has a water filter, we can go ahead and remove that. We also have a video on how to install a water filter for a Keurig machine. We'll leave a link in the description. If your reservoir has water, we can go ahead and dump that as well and remove it to the sink or dishwasher. The second most important thing of this video, you want to go ahead and remove any used or unused pods from the system because you might be the whole day there saying this water is still coming out dirty. Now that we're 90% in, in this assembly, we can go ahead and make the cleaning solution, which consists of one cup of vinegar and one cup of water. You're gonna mix that in using your spouse, friends, family member, toothbrush, I mean a clean one, and using a microfiber cloth, toothbrush, or paper towels, we will be able to clean the machine. But let's say you want to do a level two cleaning. Then the first thing that we want to remove is the K-pop housing holder apparatus name that we just made up right now. And you do that by just pulling up and holding by the sides. You might want to hold the Keurig machine down so it won't go to your face. As you can see, we even have coffee grounds inside there. We wouldn't be able to access that without removing the holder. And here we can take our paper towel or microfiber cloth and with the vinegar water solution, we can wipe it off. And remember, you don't want to have it wet. You just want to have it a little bit damp. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and dry it with paper towel. For the hard to reach places, you can use the toothbrush. And remember, you're doing a service. Who doesn't like a coffee flavored toothbrush early in the morning? As you can see, we have an exit hole at the bottom that we can also go ahead and clean. Now we can get back to disassembling this machine. We can go ahead and remove the drip tray at the bottom. And this is one of the items that could be cleaned on the sink or dishwasher. And when removing this or cleaning around this area, you want to watch out for the top. There's a needle and also in the pot holder. So if you're not looking for a coffee tattoo, you want to use caution when cleaning around this area. And to clean the needle on the coffee machine, we're going to use a paper clip. We do an extended bend on the clip and submit it to submission. Now that the paper clip has given up on the needle itself, you're going to notice some holes where we're going to use the paper clip to insert it inside. This is going to help to remove any stuck on grime, dirt in there. So depending on your machine, you might have more than one hole. On this one, there's two. Now that we've done things to this machine, we can go ahead back to our pod holder. You're gonna see two lines at the bottom sides. You hold your pod holder from there and pull open. On the bigger piece, you're gonna see a hole. You wanna use the paper clip to move around the hole, remove any stuck on grime or dirt, just as you did with the needle. And when holding this part, you wanna have caution because here you have the exit needle. So unless you're doing a movie of pain, be safe. And we also wanna do this for the other hole on the smaller side of the holder. Now that you took that coffee machine 
to another level, we are ready to take all our dishwasher safe parts to the sink and either using your big muscles to clean them on the sink or on the dishwasher. If your particular machine has a water filter attachment, you want to remove the filter and then proceed to clean the housing. If you choose to clean them by hand, remember to use both hands for an even pump. So now we have the inside of the machine clean. We have the dishwasher safe parts cleaned. Now we're ready to clean the outside part of the coffee machine. And this is the one that's going to let your neighbors, family members, spouses, loved ones, or even any pets on the household know that your cleaning skills are top notch. For the hard to get places, we want to use the toothbrush. You can dip it on the solution or use the microfiber cloth or kitchen towels. If you get it too wet, you always want to dry it off with paper towels or any dry clean cloth. And remember, this being an electric machine, you don't want to get it too wet. You just want it wet enough to be able to remove the stuck on grime or dirt. Now that you showed that machine who's the cleaning master of the universe, we can reverse engineer it to its former glory. A pro tip, always remember, it's best to use filtered water to avoid any scale buildup. If you want to watch our descaling video, we're going to leave a link on the description. We're going to fill our reservoir with filtered water and run two cycles with no pods on the large option. If you have a cleaning pod, this would be the time to use it. Also remembering after you use it to do a few passes without any pod afterwards. If you don't have a cleaning pod, you can make a new cleaning solution just like the one we did before. One cup of water and one cup of vinegar. Or depending on the size of your model, basically the same amount of water to the same amount of vinegar. Run a few cycles with it and then always remember to run regular filtered water cycles with no pods afterwards to remove any vinegar taste or cleaning solution taste. Now you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You showed that machine who's the boss. Here in this kingdom, there's only one king, queen, both or none, unless your loved one thinks otherwise. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statterbox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.